and I'm like, dude, this knot is just great. I'm like, like it's freaking awesome. Anyway, so okay, you get it. I'm really excited. Anyway, um, I was getting believe it. I was like, what? This is just crazy. I look, I've done one knot test, and it's freaking awesome. Gordon, you're really excited to bring you this. <laughs> I was sitting in the dining room with my wife and I was, you know, obsessed down with knots and doing knots. But anyway, and uh, I'm sitting there and I'm like, do you know what? I'm really tired of testing this uni knot. I'm going to have to go and do it and get it finished. But I'm like, oh, anyway, I'm like, I really want to, I'm doing the Slim Beauty after the uni to uni and then I'm doing the GT knot. But anyway, I said, I'm really, really excited I want to get and test this GT knot because I mean I know it's good and I've always used it and I literally get up I've got my empty plate of dinner I'm on the way to the kitchen and I'm like oh my gosh what about this knot I'm like let me try and combine I've got this thing where <laughs> like modified improved GT knot I'm like so basically go in do your double uh, figure of eight knot um, go in wrap the braid around the the um, monofilament, the actual knot. I, I started off with three times. I, I, I've only tested like seven knots. I want to show you the results in a second. And uh, like wrap it, I wrapped it. So the best knot I had was I went around five times, obviously back out the end and then did the uni knot, which I only did four wraps on the uni. Pulled that down tight with the bars and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks really good. It... I mean, with the GT knot, the only downside to it, because I like the I like the um, FG knot, but the only downside of the GT knot is it's a bit big. So anyway, check this out: the freaking wraps of the um, you can tell I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even get my words out. The wraps of the braid squashes down the monofilament knot. The double figure of eight knot gets squashed right down. And then, so you're not actually putting a knot through. So just like the old brown knot where you've got this torsional constricting um, sort of element in the knot and it, and, it's, and, it, and it sort of pushes down on the middle, you kind of use the same thing. So it's through round five times. It's quite hard to cinch up five times. I'm going I'm to test all different scenarios. Anyway, round five times and then back out. So you haven't actually got a knot. So, that, so as the braid pulls, it's kind of... That load is all just a line wrapped around this other knot, and it, and it just, it's just brilliant. Check these results, and I'm like, oh, look, I've done one knot. You know what I'm like? It's normally like 500 knots plus, loads of testing, all different line strains. But anyway, I had a hundred pound and a hundred pound, uh, hundred pound braid. Oh man, I'm mincing up my words tonight. Like I say, unscripted totally. 100 pound braid and the freaking cars are going off but anyway 100 pound braid 100 pound mono um did the knot and i was telling you i was gobsmacked so i literally just put it on the back of the all bright and i'll check this out all right look i just grabbed the pc look i don't even know if the shot's in in like if it's in proportion or whatever anyway i'm just going for it um, so yeah, so I basically, I was just like messing around, I didn't even have time to set up the, because I was so excited about this thing when I got off the dinner table, I phoned my buddy Kevin in America, I was chatting to him and he's just like, he's in hysterics, I'm in hysterics and we're like, he knows what I'm like and as soon as I start laughing, he's flipping, wetting himself and I'm like, dude, it's freaking amazing and it's like, I showed him and it's like, you're on a mobile and you're trying to show him how to tie the knot and I'm like, what the... And then I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe someone's even thought of this knot before. And I'm like, so I quickly looked on YouTube. I mean, look, I've literally like done this in the last sort of hour and a half. I'm just buzzing. But anyway, I don't even know if it's been done before. Let me know if you've seen it before. I've had a quick look on YouTube. There's nothing. And I'm like, dude, this knot is just great. I'm like, like, it's freaking awesome. Anyway, so, okay, you get it. I'm really excited. Anyway, um... So yeah, just quickly on the results, um, just having a quick look here. So I've just tagged it on the back end of the all bright knot testing. 
uh, you might remember that we had an average anyway like sample one was on the all bright was 69.4 67.7 sample three was 71.15 this is all on 100 pound braid 100 pound mono 59.53 dropped a bit you've seen all these results that we went through when we did the uh, world's strongest knot on the all bright knot um 65 74 74 76.5 70 73 68 that was all the results from the all bright i think the average was uh i'll have to look i think it was about 69 pounds something like that um so then i went oh like okay look let me just try the gt knot on its own like you know the double figure of eight knot and then uni knot look i put five wraps i'm going to be testing that knot good knot really really good anyway um look i haven't worked out all the correct cinching on it everything but anyway it was 54 pounds on the first one i tried it then i tried this thing that like the idea i went i just went around the the loop once i went around the knot once like in round once and it was 40 and i was like damn i thought this would be a good idea so i'm like no i'm not giving up look like i said i've only spent i want to invest like two weeks of my time in this knot it's freaking awesome anyway i'm getting it i'm getting it i'm getting it and so then where we go a 60 so then I, then i went uh three times around 63.36 i went in 63 it was quite i mean i must admit it's quite difficult to cinch up i put a lot of saliva on there because i noticed the monofilament was getting a bit hot when i was pulling it so i have to do it slightly okay and then uh where's the and then and then i tried it again with four and i was like oh my gosh it's going good this is good this is good this is like right on par with the uh albright i mean the albright like i say 69 pounds average is 66 i'm like look the albright knot is a good knot right anyway um check this 77.4 pounds can you believe it i was like what this is just crazy oh, look i've done one knot test and it's freaking awesome it totally squashed down that monofilament. I'm going to try and do a little bit on it because I want to do a full three video review on this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, all the knot testing. I'm going to show a bit now as well. Um, 77.4 pounds. What are you talking about? Freaking amazing. Anyway, uh, I couldn't believe it. You know, I just couldn't believe it. It's like, what? Anyway, check the displacement as well. Like, check this out. So the displacement. Like, even if you look back at the Albright knot, we're talking like 74 mil, 77 mil, mono stretch to 63 mil. Um, check at the displacement. Oh, there's a good displacement there on sample six of the Albright, 74. You can tell that that was a really good strong knot. Check at the displacement, 78.6 millimeters. It freaking stretched that mono, man. Crazy. And look, look, there's a bit of movement. If you look at the graph quickly, I mean, I've just got this on replay at the minute, so I can sort of go backwards and forwards. But just check. You can see it's moving slightly as it's going. So it's eking, eking, eking. It's keep dipping. Look, I don't like moving in knots. You know that. There's a little bit of movement going on there. Not a lot, but it's, it is. But it's like a consistent movement. Can you see it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Anyway, check right over there. 77. Anyway. I just want to show you quickly how to do this knot. Uh, look, like I say, I want to test all different scenarios of it, like how many to go around there. But like, it's just crazy. Like, it's kind of like the Albright intertwined into the original sort of GT knot. Uh, I'm going to call it the improved or the modified one. If you've seen it before, let me know. If you've tried it before, let, let me know. I'd be interested in that. I mean, look, I might not be the first guy to have thought of this, but look it's freaking awesome that's all i can say it really really awesome let's check out how to tie it quickly i'll do this real quick and uh I'll, I'll, then i'll let you go all right let's show you how to tie it it's a normal gt knot gabriel line cross it over like that take this line and wrap it round twice that's one two that's it then put it through here Right, so that's pretty much the start of any normal GT knot. Right, then we get the braid. Grab the braid line and we follow through. So normally with the, you want to follow that line coming in and line going out. So that's it. So this is the new bit. Check this out, right? So instead of going straight back in there and doing your uni knot, do five wraps on here. Check this out. One. 
two, three, four, five. Yeah? And then back through there, coming out that same way. Can you see that? There we go, look at that. Bad boy coming out of there. So you've got, you haven't actually got a knot now. Check that out. It just looks like a really nice, like, bit for the braid to slip through, right? Then, what we do at this point is grab the braid again, and we just do a quick uni knot. I'll do a quick, obviously this is really thick line. This is like 400 pound braid. Um, so then do the uni knot, stick it over there like that, and uh, do your, I did four wraps, so do four wraps. That's two, three, four, and then like normally you just give that uni knot a pull because you want the uni knot to cinch up in its own element. Right, so then you got the uni knot down here and you got this little bad boy here. And that's it. So like I say, it's a little bit tricky to graunch up. It obviously with, I mean, this is 400 pound mono and 400 pound braid for illustration, but um, I will give this a go at cinching this up. We'll have a go now. Just obviously you got to get the pullers on here. Uh, get the old bars on here and give that a little bit of a, a whoopee around there and see us. This is all gonna it's all gonna fall apart now because it's all a bit off the cuff. I haven't even done this yet. Well, let's see if that stretches down through. Oh we got something. Look at that. See that monofilament squash right down. I mean I haven't pulled the tag yet, but you get where I'm coming with that. Look at that! Are you kidding me? The freaking mono squash right down, look at that! Oh my, okay, look, I haven't cinched, it's quite hard to cinch up this really thick line, but look how streamlined that is, man, this thing looks sweet. I'm going to tie it with um, 100 pound mono and 100 pound um, while I'm talking over the video, but um, yeah, just quickly wipe that off, oh, I love these scissors, freaking sharp as anything, and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the knot, so, so that's it. Look at that bad boy, nice and sweet, I mean, alright, let's have a, I'm going to show you that on uh, regular stuff now as well while I'm talking over the video, but, man, I like it, I really, really like it, it's just sweet. Man, I hope I'm in shot, um, <laughs> this will all be, uh, I'll have to redo it, anyway, let me crack on. Right, we've seen how to tie it, that's super cool, um, again. Let me know if you've seen it before. I did a quick research on YouTube, spent like a half an hour looking, couldn't find anything. I love this idea that it's 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 using what the Albright's good at, but the Albright sort of falls short right at the end with that braid that cuts back on the on the end of the line. You know, it's I've gone through all that before. Don't want to uh, dwell on that. Uh, I can dwell on not all day long. But anyway. Um, yeah, the, this wrap around the other knot squashes it down, so you've got this thinner, I mean, I want to see like what sort of profile we can get here, I mean, look, everyone freaking loves the FG knot, I like the GT knot, I don't like the bump you get when you cast it if you are using it, um, I mean, obviously through your guides and that, but um, look, it squashes it right down, how freaking cool is that? It squashes the knot down, it's much more streamlined, how freaking strong is that? This is on a hundred pound braid to a hundred pound monofilament, 78 pounds. I mean, it's like, whoa, it's just like, and oh, that's one test. Look, I'm going to, uh, like I say, I want to work on how many wraps I'm going to let, you know, how many wraps on the uni. I'm going to freaking break this knot down massively. Can't wait. i um, going to do what I normally do on my videos. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd bring this to you guys. Let me know if you've seen it. Tr give it a try. I mean, let me know. You might get more practice in it. Actually catching fish. I'll probably, I probably won't get to use it for another six months because I'm too busy sorting out all these freaking knots. But anyway, look, it, it's a. I was just like, this is this is really cool. Um, give me some feedback on it. Um, let me know what you think and. I'll, I'll probably get to bed. I don't know what the time is now. It's almost nine o'clock. I've been buzzing for like, like I say, an hour and a half. Um, freaking, this is just like so, so cool. I do love fishing knots. I love fishing. I mean, I freaking love everything about fishing. But um, anyway, uh, I don't even have the tensile tester. That's actually uh, uh, inside at the minute because it's obviously I can keep uh, 
<clears throat> the house has obviously got central heating so we can keep a good control on humidity and uh, temperature there when we're actually doing the testing. So uh, like I say, fully unprepared tonight. I don't even know if I'm in the right place on the screen, who cares. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a bit off the cuff. Uh, I don't normally do freestyle. I'm kind of like a scripted guy. But um, yeah, I, I, just, I just really, really um, give the knot a try, man. Let me know feedback. Uh, let me know how many reps you're doing over this top bit and how it's squashing down. I mean, like I said, I've only done it on the 100 pound lines and stuff. I mean, how's it doing on like 10 pound and 30 and 50 and all the other combinations I'm testing? How's it squashing it down? I haven't even looked at it yet. So let me know. You're probably going to get around to that more. Like I said, I'm working on the uni to uni at the minute and I'm just like, oh, stuff this. I've got to get this out straight away. I don't care how bad the video is, but it's just... Tight line, stay tight, stay toy. Thanks for tuning in and give this not a go. And uh, I'll be freaking awesome to speak to you guys in the comments below because, uh, like I say, I'm just like, this is for me, it's just freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I, I think this knot's got a lot of potential. I mean, I really do. It's really, you know, it's there's no. Oh, listen to me waffle about knots a year ago. So, those winds that you're going around that thing, there's no. The, the braids actually unwinding and squashing that thing down without actually cutting in on itself. Now, if you if you know braid as well as I do, I mean, look, I've tested thousands and thousands of knots. Um, that stuff, it's it, it, as soon as it goes near itself and it's and it's and it's starting to, if it crosses or it's anything and there's and there's some movement there, forget about it, you're done. But it, it's got this ability where the um, I need to put some of the stuff on. I need to. I, I've got so much to say about this knot, but um, it's got this ability where you got, like I say, over five wraps I've done. It, it's it's not actually even a knot yet. So so it's actually better than the Albright because you're you're actually you're actually giving it another knot at the end, which is great. The Uni knot's a good knot, uh, but you you got this bit where it's 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 releasing itself over these crossing lines and it just seems to it just seems to freaking work it's like i just can't i just, I, I just can't believe it it's just like look i know i'm all basing this on one test yeah and i'm going to do a lot more like i say i really want to get back on the uni the uni but i mean that is good that that's a good if that is a good starting point you know i mean when i'm doing like 500 knot tests on this and, 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 and we really, really get into the nitty gritty of how many reps and which, I mean, I haven't even looked at like, normally I go to town on these things, I'm checking which way to cinch it, tagging, standing and I'm doing all different types of cinching on all these knots to see which way is better and I'm testing all these different variants, but I haven't even got to that stage yet and I'm already at that and that's, that's a good, that is a good sign that this knot's got real potential. And I just hope you guys test it. It's, like I say, I, I'm like, I'm freaking going on again. I, this is like another video already, but <laughs> I'm excited. Check it out. Give it a go. Let me know. And, uh, oh, that that's, I love my rhyming schemes. Give it a go. Let me know. And, um, yes, yeah, stay tight, stay, stay tight, stay tight. And, uh. <laughs> I think we've got a good line to line connection, not yet. I really do. I mean, the 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 testing it's been okay. I mean the all bright yeah, it certainly pushed it up a notch on the mono and stuff. Um I need to stop. Look guys, join us if you if you're liking this content, this is the sort of stuff I do. Please like, subscribe, uh um yeah, get in touch with us, drop us some comments. We're doing loads of exciting stuff. And uh, check out the All Bright series. I mean, I love that to bits. And uh, yeah, let me stop now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. And <laughs> see you freaking later. 77.4. Remember that freaking amount. Remember those raps. And like I say, I might, yeah, I've said it. I've said enough. Um, let me know if you've seen it before. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to go. <laughs> yes. Come on. Boom. Okay. See ya.